Samsung has an application called the Galaxy App Booster. And the company says that using this app will optimize the applications on your phone or tablet and can improve performance by up to 5 to 15 percent. Now in this video I'll be explaining what this application does, how it improves the performance of your applications, and how you can do the same thing on your non-Samsung smartphone or tablet. So you can find this service as part of the Galaxy Labs package that Samsung provides to its smartphone users. The company recommends running this service after each update and then once a week after that. As it turns out, these features are available to all Android devices. We just need an ADB shell working before we can execute the required commands. This is all because of the changes Google made to Android 7.0, because since that update, applications that are installed without any ahead of time compilation now this is great because an, that means an application installs faster, but it also means that there is still some work that needs to be done before the application can be fully opened. So the first few times you open a newly installed application, the system will execute some just-in-time compilation tasks. With, With that, that said, Android will try to eliminate some of those delays of the tasks by running some ahead of time compilations on the applications you have installed, but only when the device is both charging and idle. So from there, the next time the application is restarted, it will use this new code instead of doing that just in time compilation, which was causing the, the delay that we're seeing here. So what Samsung's Galaxy App Booster will do is it will go through your phone and do all of that compilation work for you in one fell swoop. And we can do this manually on non-Samsung devices as well. But again, we need ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC before we can, be, can do any of this. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, be sure to look in the, descript the video description below as I'll be including links to those tutorials. Now we also need to enable USB debugging mode. And again, if you haven't done this already, you'll find this in the developer options section with a toggle labeled USB debugging. Not only do you have to enable this toggle, but you also need to grant USB debugging access to your PC by plugging it in via a USB cable and running the ADB service. So I have plugged the phone into the computer with a USB cable. We're going to type out the command ADB space devices and press enter. Now again, if you have not enabled or allowed USB debugging access from this PC, you're going to get a prompt on your device and you're going to get an unauthorized message right there. So I just authorized the phone and now when I run ADB, ADB devices again, you're going to see that unauthorized message change to device. And that makes you sure that you know ADB has a secured connection to your device. So as mentioned, we're going to need to drop into an ADB shell. So we type out the command ADB space shell and press enter. You should see the code name for your device right here before the prompt. And then we're going to type out the command PM space compile space dash A space dash F space dash dash check dash prof space false space dash m space everything now as you can see with that everything variable that means we're going to compile a lot of applications here so when you press enter 
you're going to see a number here. This is going to tell you how many applications you have installed on your device. And it's going to run this compile command on all of these apps. So for me, that is over 250 apps. This process can take a lot of time. You're going to need to sit back, be patient, and wait for all of these to complete the compile process. Now the amount of time this will take will largely depend on the speed of your smartphone or tablet. An older device will take a lot longer to compile all of these apps, while a faster device will not take as much time. I also want to note that this will likely cause your device to heat up a little bit. It should not overheat it, but it will make it warm at the very least. So as a reminder, we just want to be patient during this whole process. You can see we're wrapping up the compilation tasks for my Pixel 6. And you're just going to want to make sure that you have a secure USB connection so that this task is not interrupted. And after a few minutes, you should reach the end of this task. It is okay if some of these packages could not be compiled. And then you see a big list that is normal. We have at least compiled all of the applications that we are allowed to. So with that done, we need to run a second command. We are still in that ADB shell with the codename prompt here. And the command this time we're going to type out is pm space compile space dash a dash f dash dash check prof space false and then dash dash compile dash layouts. And again, just like before, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and it's going to run through and compile the layouts for those applications. You can see this one was much quicker than before. So the third and final command that we're going to run in our ADB shell is PM space BG dash DEX OPT dash JOB. And I'll be including all three of these commands in the video description so that you can simply copy and paste these commands very quickly. So with that all typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. We're going to give it a few seconds. And we're going to wait for that success message right there. As long as we get a success message right here, then the process has been completed. Now with all of this done, we can unplug the USB cable from our device. The process is completed. You may see your device using a little bit more storage than you're used to. Again, that's because all of those compilation tasks have been run ahead of time. So that the next time you open up these apps, there's no just-in-time compilation that needs to be run, which is going to pause and degrade the performance of your apps. Now, there is a way to reverse this, because again, this process can use up a little bit more storage space than you're used to. So if you come across an issue where you are running out of storage space and you need to undo all of this, again, I'll be including the two commands that you need to run in the video description that will undo and reverse the, all of this that we just did. That will save you a little bit of storage space and make the performance of your apps revert back to how things were before. So again, Samsung claims that this compilation process will increase performance by about 5%. Google says their tests have shown this to improve performance between 5 and 
It does not require root access. It is all done via an ADB shell. And let me know the results that you have on your device. Are you noticing your applications are opening and running a lot faster than previous? I have not noticed this using up that much more storage space. I did a screenshot before and after on my daily driver after doing this. And it was maybe 500 megabytes extra used. But I did notice that apps were a bit more speedy and a bit more snappy when moving from one area of the app to the other because of these three commands.